Opera. What is your name? Can you tell the people? My name is Opera. 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 Yeah, the painter. You're the painter. You're from special from Israel uh, to Holland to uh, make paintings. You are a big artist in Israel. Uh, this is one of your latest works, and we like to show you this. This is, uh, of course, uh, nobody else than Bob Marley, and uh, yes, he's the Bob king. Bob Marley and of friends. Bob Marley and friends. I don't see my face. <laughs> okay, but cool. And and how about where do you get all this inspiration uh, from life? Is that a good enough answer? <coughs> Are you also reggae uh, minded? Yeah, I love reggae very much. I mean, I'm very. I, the reggae is okay. I like that, that a lot. But uh, Bob Marley is but, what I really, really like. But what is what is for you uh, most favorite reggae band that come to Israel that you see? Alpha Blondie. Alpha Blondie, because this song of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, je t'aime. No, but uh, really, uh, I think that Bob Marley and uh, uh, Lee Scratch Perry, he was his uh, uh, sound engineer. Yeah. At the time, that, that, that was the sound that uh, really, really captured me and the whole world. Uh, no one knew what reggae is before he was launched. He was uh, yeah. he to be that. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so you think Bob Marley come from outer space? No, he come from uh, Jamaica and his father come from England. England. That's what made him, huh? Yeah. A mix of black the and white. The mix of black and white. Sure, his dad was a uh, very, uh, uh, how do you say, um, had a lot of uh, talent, music talent, you know? And that kind of uh, passed through the genes. Don't you think the music talent came from the African background? Oh, yeah. for sure, for sure. The old energy because because his, his, his father was just a, 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 a boatsman that came to Jamaica and yeah, so just a soldier or something. It was, there was, it was just a fact. It was a shock. Uh, but it was a big shock. Made such a good stuff. Yeah, yeah, just music because, because, yes, because more people felt uh, more. Um, Authentic to Bob Marley because of his color. He was not black and he was not white. Yeah, sure. He was bullied as a child in uh, Jamaica. They say, hey, you're not really black. You're not yeah. really from all Yes, the... I had the same problem. I know what yeah. you're talking about. The mixed people. The mixed. Yes, but uh, I would say you people go and mix, you know, because it's good to mix. You know, it's very nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah really. black with white, uh, Asian with uh, Jews and. Uh, uh, and Jews with Christian, Jews with Palestine as well. As well, because Why there not? are many nice Palestine girls as well. Yeah, there must be. Yeah. yeah, I see. Because there is ma there is beautiful uh, girls in, in any race. Yeah. But but these Palestine girls, they also hide their beautiful face. Or yeah, I, I'm kind of against it. Actually. Yes, I think uh, women should be uh, go proudly the way they are. And uh, that is not, you don't think this way because you are this uh, horny guy. No. Do you like to see go in mini skirt and yeah, I like to see like a mini skirt. He does not hurt. He does not hurt my feelings. You see this? Of course, it's a piece. And uh, you cannot just go and grab it and take to take her for yourself. It doesn't work like that. No. But hey. But if you come from a country where they always cover up everything and you see this, then it's a sexy a pussy walking around. You know? <laughs> People are not like that in Israel. Israel is quite a modern place. Modern place. I know. I know. No, no. Yeah. If you walk in uh, Tel Aviv, it's like ooh. Beautiful girls. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. But I come from Suriname, and when I come here first time, I was 16 years old, and my uh, my niece uh, bring me with her girlfriend to the beach, and when they come at the beach, these girls they take off their spring, and I'm like, I never see boobies before in my life. <laughs> I, must, I must look the other way. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to it. Uh, actually, I, I live in uh, other places in the world, so I kind of know. You know. Yeah. So you like to watch boobies? <laughs> I like. Would you like to see topless bar teachers in the discotheque? Like that it's a rule that all the girls must wear topless. Yeah. Don't you think this rule should be like must uh, yeah, in know, every discotheque they must have this rule? You have it here in uh, I think new rule must be made by maybe Mr. Wilders can make his room for us. <laughs> really like. Uh, I think these kind of things you can only find in uh, LA or places like uh, you know. 
where a pawn is kind of uh, very common. Do you also think that we, after the gay uh, weekend we had here, uh, the pink weekend, I see you can see there all these matrasses, these people were all doing all bad things in the weekend. But this, don't you think we should also have something like uh, 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 a spring break, like girls gone wild, you know? A day that everybody can go wild and girls can flash their titties and they get, let's say, uh, how you call this? They get a medallion or something, a little press, and they press their titties. Don't you think that would be nice for growing? Maybe, yeah. we can try. Shall we try? Okay. I say go for it. So we leave, leave this uh, idea. This is very nice an idea. idea. Now you have to go with it. Yes, we have to go with Not it. So we will now uh, try to make propaganda for this. We thank you and for uh, Orfe. 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 <laughs> uh, would you like to say something to the Dutch community? Yeah, I want to say thank you very much. Hey, this is Puk. Yeah, we zitten hier op de maandagochtend, uh, weekend na de roze zaterdag. Het roze weekend op de Groningen. En we praten met een van de leidsters. Wat, wat, wat weet jij precies? Vrijwilligers coördineren. Vrijwilligers coördineren. En we kennen Marleen ook al van uh, het Gideon Festival, ook wel bekend als Leentje. Wat heb, je, wat heb je allemaal gedaan, Leentje? Ja, dat was het. En uh, veel ook op muziekgebied uh, moeten regelen? Uh, ja, dat is PJ. Die hadden ze niet. Dus hebben we hebben een extra PJ geregeld. Uh, Tijd vijf artiesten begeleiden. Dat was het. Nog, uh, nog mensen van het Gideon Festival die meekomen? Ja, ja. Ja? ja. En uh, hoe, 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 ben je, hoe ben je bekomen na het Gideon Festival? Was je tevreden over uh, de verloop? Oh, ja, zeker, zeker. Ja? Het was mooi kort daarna, maar... Uh... Ja, het was echt uh, super gezellig, maar ja, die, die beelden kun je bekijken op, uh, op internet ook. Nou ja, Marleen, wil je nog wat zeggen tegen de roze uh, organisatie? Ja, super gedaan en bedankt voor alles. Nou, wij zeggen ook bedankt van de Sunny, een uh, beetje regenachtige achtige Groningen. En uh, tot het volgende Roze Weekend. Komt er nog een volgende? Weet niet. Wanneer, ja. Onze burgemeester is wel gay, heb ik begrepen. Ja, dus er zullen wel meer van die gay parties plaatsvinden in Groningen. Nou, op en top. Ik wens jullie een hele fijne. Wat, wat wensen we u toe? Een fijne dag verder. Ja, ook voor. Doei.